Hey, happy Saturday, everyone. And today is going to be episode number six of Kitchen Marisa. So what I'm doing today is a couple of things. Some things I'm gonna cook on my own. Other things I'm just gonna cook that are already prepared. I'm gonna have a dinner tonight with some fish, some stuffed flounder and stuffed cod. But then I'm also gonna do some coconut rice and some Swiss chard. And actually it's rainbow Swiss chard. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. You don't need to see this beautiful face, but you need to see what I'm doing and what I'm cooking. So we'll get right to it. So one of the first things to do is prepare your ingredients. Here I have some white basmati rice that I have cleaned changing the water at least three times. And then here's your coconut milk. I use Trader Joe's organic reduced fat, and it's pretty awesome. Usually I put two, this is the only one I have tonight. So I'm going to use a little uh, bit more water already taken from distilled and filtered, boiled and cooled down. And then I'll be putting some olive oil, salt and pepper. Stay tuned. So the funny thing about canned coconut milk is that it, it sort of like has a, it coagulates, so it's kind of hard, but see, you just go through it and there you go. You have to put the whole thing, okay? So just dump the whole thing in there. And like I said, I usually use two cans so in this instance, this is all I have. We'll just use one and it's the same. But otherwise, the next time you use two, because you have to basically put in, you have to cover the rice, okay? So we'll do that. We'll put some more water to cover the rice. All right. After that, I will put in some olive oil. So I simply put in some olive oil and I do this by eye, I guess maybe if you want to do, um, it's going to be probably like a teaspoon possibly. I will put in some salt to give it a little bit of a taste. You know, you see me shaking and it probably looks like a lot, but it really, really isn't. And then at the end, I'll just put in a little bit of pepper. Okay. And this is pretty much enough. It covers just enough of, maybe I'll just put a little bit more, just to be sure. I don't want wet rice. I want fluffy rice. So too much liquid won't work. So like I said, in the meantime, this works best when you put it in your rice cooker, which is right here. I bought this guy a long time ago and it really, really works well. You just place it in, close the lid, turn it on. It'll go to keep warm automatically, but you want it to cook, press it, and it's gonna cook automatically on its own and we're good to go at that point. Next. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be sauteing in garlic, onions, olive oil, uh, Swiss chard. This is rainbow Swiss chard, they call it, because look at all these colors. There's a red, there's a yellow, there's a regular white part. But I'm also including, because they're basically in the same family, and it's gonna give each other a really good flavor. I am including bok choy. So it's really, really good. And Swiss chard has a tendency to have sand in it, so you make sure that you wash it at least three times. Look at me, hello. <laughs> All right, so come closer. I have my cameraman here. He's new at this gig, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, here's my onions. I'm gonna put some olive oil, all right, because we're gonna start sauteing the Swiss chard and bok choy. So just put that on the flame put the cover and just cook them until it's translucent. 
And then soon thereafter, this time I decided to just keep the garlic crushed. I don't want to cut them into little pieces, just so that if anyone doesn't want the taste of garlic in their mouth, they can just remove it and not eat it. But it does give it a great flavor. So I'm going to just cut them in half like that. They can give out more of their oil to give it more of a taste. Otherwise, it might just be light. So here we are, we're sauteing the onion. And then once they get translucent, then we'll put in the garlic. And after that, I'll be putting in the Swiss chard. So, I left the onions pretty big. It would take a little while for them to be translucent, but that's, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to add the garlic, so that gets, that gets a quick browning. But remember people, garlic gets um, cooked and browned real quick, so just keep an eye on it. Okay, now we're putting the chard, so you don't drain, like you see I put it in the colander to drain the majority of the water, but you don't want to it totally dry because you're actually going to have the water help you steam the vegetables a little bit. It's going to help it to cook and that's going to be perfect. You're going to season it. You just push it down. The heat is going to wilt everything and it's going to cook it and it's going to be perfect. As always, salt, all right, and like I said, it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Some pepper, okay. All right, in the meantime, let me prepare this. So this is the cacotra part. Wait, not yet. Oh, okay, you can do it. All right, hold on. All right, so this is the cacotra part. So like I said, I was, I, I bought already prepared Filet of sole, I guess it is, or flounder rather. Let's see, is it flounder? It's stuffed flounder. So it's stuffed flounder. I got two of those and one of cod. And I'm going to do it in cartocho, which is, I'm gonna create a little envelope. You do that with parchment paper, and no, parchment paper does not burn in the oven. It actually um, is a great conductor of heat, and it does, does a lot of great stuff with it. it. Makes it cook really quick, and it's great. So the way I prepare it, I just put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom and just spray a little bit of olive oil on the top. Um, I'm sure there's some salt and stuff, but just to make sure, just a little bit of salt here. And then maybe I'll just put a little bit of garlic powder, you know. Uh, if you have white wine, that would be ideal. I don't have any, so not doing that. Anyway, here we go. So the way you make an envelope is pretty simple. Get a nice large piece. You fold it over and you start wrapping it around. You go methodically and you make sure you're pressing it as if you were doing a pie of sorts. And anyone who's done maybe dumplings, maybe pierogies, or anything of that nature, egg rolls, something like that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So you're just going around and around and around and around until voila, you have your envelope. So again, in Italian it's called cartoccio and I guess it's English, it's just called your parchment paper envelope. So like I said, see, with the heat and a little bit of water, it starts to wilt. So now at this point, because you put all the salt, pepper, and garlic powder on the top. You want to just stir it like that. It goes everywhere and it uniformly flavors every single piece. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, the onions are in there, the garlic is in there, and it's really going to come out tasting delicious. And if you've never had Swiss chard or bok choy, definitely go ahead and buy it and try it. So here it is, four pieces of stuffed fish, cod and flounder. 
and in cartocho, and they're each individual little pockets, envelopes, and then we put it in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. Put them in, close the door. I'm gonna put the timer for 15 minutes, and there you go. Okay, and here we go. So here is coconut rice, the saute Swiss chard, and here is your fish in cartocho. Now we're gonna take it, and we're gonna plate it, and we're gonna love on it. And it's going to be absolutely divine. Okay, and I will taste test it for you in a second. And here it is, coconut rice, filet of flounder is the one that I chose, and here is some Swiss chard. Let's try it. Mmm, so good. Well, until the next episode, thanks for joining us today. Bon appetito!